Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Another new TV show. Uh, it's not in my normal genre of stuff that I watch. It's called Blood and Oil, uh, and it's about a, uh, a an oil rush in North Dakota. It's a primetime soup in the, in the style of uh, classic Dallas or Dynasty. Uh, it's not really the sort of thing I normally watch, but I thought I'd check this one out. It's got Don Johnson in it, uh, who I remember from way back in the 80s uh, in Miami Vice, and then uh, a little bit more recently is Nash Bridges, a uh, show I didn't watch a lot, but when I did, it was entertaining. Uh, Don Johnson, always fun to see out there doing stuff. Well... He's playing the uh, old head of the uh, biggest family in this boom town. Uh, and then we have a character who's coming into that town to set up a laundromat. I know, exciting, right? Uh, him and his wife collected a whole lot of money from their friends and family, and they're heading out to where business is booming. Unfortunately, in the first five minutes of the show, they're run off the road by a couple of oil rigs taking up both lanes on a two-lane road, uh, and all of their um, all, all of their washing machines, which for some reason they had in their pickup truck instead of you know having them delivered, um, get wrecked as the truck uh, takes a tumble off the road down an embankment. Uh, all sorts of fun stuff like that, which, of course, leaves them struggling to figure out how they're going to make it in this effectively Wild West town. So there's there's a lot of uh, jockeying for position that goes on. There's a lot of uh, con games that are going on. There's a lot of just... It's pretty much a Western. It really is. Uh, and And that's how it... It's playing out. That's how it's portrayed. Uh, it's entertaining. I'll give it that. And the writing is pretty solid, especially for a uh, primetime soap. Um, for example, I'll be turn tuning in for the second episode, not because I really want to keep watching the show, but because they ended on such a perfectly done cliffhanger that I need to see what happens in the next uh, 20 seconds. Um... So there, there's a lot of great intrigue uh, set up. There, there's problems within the oil baron's family. There's, uh, you know, the new people in town trying to uh, make their way. There's the conflict between the Native Americans and the, uh, the, the oil companies or the, the prospectors for oil. Uh, again, pretty much your standard Western tropes going on here. It's a lawless town. Uh, fights on the street every night spilling out of one of the many bars. Uh, no hotel to stay in. Uh, you have a whole bunch of people who've shown up there to try to make their fortunes in this new oil boom. And most of them, well, most of them are going to fail. Most of them are in a pretty bad spot to begin with. Check it out if that's your sort of thing. If you love Dynasty or Dallas or, or anything uh, like that since, uh, definitely check it out because it's uh, got good production values. It's got good fight scenes. It's got your standard uh, socio-political imaginations going on. And uh, it only looks like it's going to get more and more twisted and evil and, you know, as these things do, which keeps people coming back. Um, I'd compare it to Empire, but I haven't watched Empire. It looks like it has a bit in common plot-wise. Uh, just the difference being the oil industry versus the music industry. Uh, but really, once you start talking really big money and really desperate people and really big egos, it all pretty much comes out the same, and it's just trappings that make the difference. Uh, but like I said, I'll be tuning in for the second episode because they did a great job uh, closing out their first episode on an amazing cliffhanger. Everything, there's nothing nonsensical in this show. It all plays out pretty solidly. There's nothing that's come out of left field so far. Nothing completely unexpected. Uh, so 
if you pay attention, you'll be able to see where things are going most of the time. There, there are little twists every now and then, and they are still just setting everything up. I'm sure it will evolve a little bit more. I'm not expecting anything to dip it into uh, sci-fi genre territory like some other shows uh, ended up being much more sci-fi than one would expect. Um, it's going to be pretty much your, your, your staple. Uh, not sure if it's going to last. Uh, I haven't checked the ratings yet. Uh, second episode's coming up this week. Uh, and then maybe we'll take a look at the ratings and we'll uh, start comparing all of these shows that have started and really try to pick which ones are going to stick around and which ones aren't. So if you've seen it, if you've seen uh, Blood and Oil, uh, comment down below and uh, tell me what you think about it. Uh, tell me what shows you think it's most like and whether or not you think it's going to last. And, uh, you know, we'll have a little conversation about this stuff. That's it for today. Uh, if you like what you saw here, hit the like button down there. If you want to keep seeing more of this stuff, uh, subscribe uh, and then hit the little gear so you can get email notifications. And if you think anyone else out there uh, that you know of would be interested in uh coming along with us on this little journey that's been mostly reviews lately, but it's going to switch up a little bit soon. Uh, share this with them. Uh, and if there's anything that you want to uh, talk about, you want to hear me talk about, you want to have a discussion about, there's a link in the description that will take you to a little form on my website that you can fill out, and uh, then I'll know what you want to hear. Uh, same thing if you comment and tell me. That's kind of how this is working. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.